Lions. Ben Johnson got a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice raise there. Is Sheila is? Have they turned a corner with the way they operate? I'll, I'll go to Terry first on that. Have they turned a corner with the way they operate? Absolutely. She, Sheila, Sheila gets out in front of stuff. Mm-hmm. Sheila's cutting checks. It's not this easy, is it? Like no, she. It, they could have been doing this forever, but you know, it used to be you come back. You want ten thousand dollars a year more? Oh hell no! How's that gonna hurt the Fords? How's that gonna hurt the Lions? Sheila's like, oh damn, come on back. I cut the check. What? How, how much was it again? Oh, we'll give you this. Bam. What? It doesn't have to be that hard. You're. In, I think maybe she's getting to this. She's in partnership with these guys. They're not employees. That. This and, is a guy that's important to your organization. You just pay him. And D Mac Pistons you know, fan I, eleven says they're running like a real organization. Yeah. Is it that simple? I think it can't be that. Simple. I think it's that. I think it's that simple. We're seeing, you know, as they say, that as the machine's rolling on and it's rolling on, this is part of it. Because how do they handle it? He, he, one day he says he's coming back. The next day they see that he needs to be rewarded and they show to the rest of everybody else that he's our guy. Everybody feels a part of it. Everybody feels appreciated. A little something for the effort. It just, it's, I love it's that motivating. A little something for the effort. A little something for the effort. <laughs> a little motivating because you feel a part of it. Right, so now Ben Johnson's even in there working harder, right, in the off season because he came back and not only did he make a commitment, they make a commitment to him. And to the to Terry's point, talking about the guys that are you know grease the wheels and stuff like this, it's it's the guys that operate and make them go. And right now, in developing this culture, right, on the on field, um, Ben Johnson's a huge part of this. So it's just sort of I see you, and that's huge. Because that's all you want, especially when you're, you know, down the totem pole or whatever. Riddle me this, Batman. Would have Chris Spielman, Barry Sanders, uh, Kevin Glover, Lomas Brown all have in common? They won a playoff game. That, but off the field. What do they have in common? They were all leaders. No, they all got low ball. Oh, by yeah, the yeah. Lions. Uh, well, and absolutely. And that is where it's different. And, Terry, that is where it is that easy. Where... In the past, they would have let things continue to play well, out the as thing. they were. Like Ben Johnson's contract, in my opinion, Terry, and you can confirm or deny this, would I'll, have not been adjusted. It would not have been. I agree. I bottom line this. You know the reason why. Because this ain't the same old Lions ownership. This is Sheila Hemp. Yeah. This is her Lions. Right? So if you're sitting here, you can't hold her to her mother or her father or whatever else that has happened by anybody in the past because this is her. And she's shown that by putting the people in place that were first questioned. But Brad Holmes, who's, who was responsible for that at the end of the day, right? That's, so this is her. This is the way that the Lions operate now. So, yes, it is different. But the reason is, is because there's a different person pulling the trigger at the top it's like the same thing as you hear in the wwe about vince mcmahon and then uh triple h whatever who's running it right it depends on who's at the top right of how it runs and how the people inside the organization feel about it it's just they they lost people because of 10 and twenty thousand dollars in salary how is twenty thousand let's go how's that gonna hurt the lions right really just pay the man and they say, okay, screw it. They either Thank left you. or they, they stay and they were pissed off. I used to go in the locker room and uh, players would be in these pissy ass moods. I said, hey, guys, getting ready for the Bears, huh? Y'all, no, nah, hell no. Nah. They screwed us and or or they pissed somebody off. That's that's one of the reasons Barry Sanders left. Barry Sanders may have hung on, but they screwed Kevin Glover. They screwed over Chris Spielman. He's like, hell, I'm in the hell out of here. You know what's different? It's the same thing as when I played in Mr. Illich and my check would come and it's have Mike Illich's signature and then he's gone. Well, the signature on the check is changed. That changed to Marion Illich, but this is changed to Sheila Hemp. So this is her writing the checks. Different person's writing the checks, right? Like it's the same thing. Which parent do you go to? Who's gonna give you the 20 bucks, mom or dad? Come on, it's easy, right? Yeah. She, But she <clears throat> realizes this. And here's what's playing out. Neil, what we're seeing live 
is that she cares and when things need to be handled these conversations aren't swept under the rug there isn't that disrespect there's respect no matter if it's guys getting interviews or not getting interviews or how it's involved so it should be looked differently i just can't i can't wrap my head around the fact that it's just that easy i can't <laughs> i can't i'm sorry terry it's going to take a while to process that it can't just be that easy to where well, they just needed they just needed an adjustment with how now. Granted, Brad, look, I know it's, it's not Brad just Holmes, that, but you bring in the correct people and, and then you believe give in them, them the authority right. to do what they need to do. Now, here again, I will always say this: the moment this all changed was when it was okay to trade Matt Stafford because Terry, you know as well as I do, and DMac, I assume you know too. That went to the top. You oh, you weren't just walking in here saying. Well, first thing I'm going to do is trade Matt Stafford. Let me. Where's my office so I can start dialing up? Hello, who's got the National Ford commercial? Right. Who had the National Ford commercial right. at the time? Matt Stafford. No, that goes from right to the top, and that's when it started. That things were starting to be different. Where you could go, oh, wow! That, it and, is that easy. I used <clears> to <throat> run to line fans all the time. We're on our way, and I would just think to myself, Lions if fan. you only Lions knew. Are- if you only knew what was going on with these knuckleheads in the front office with ownership and how pissed off people are, you wouldn't be this optimistic. But I wouldn't blow their cool. I'm like, okay, I don't believe it's going to happen, but if you do, God bless you. Yeah, it, and to me, that was when I really started to buy in. That was even before. Like, I knew Brad Holmes with the track record with the Rams and how the Rams were built through the draft and all the gems that they they picked. But the reason, Terry... The, the foundation of why I bought in to the regime was because they walked in here, and I'm sure in the interview, they, they said, here's the plan, and we're trading nine. Step one, trade number nine. That's the, that's the central point of everything we're going to do right here. Well, it nine, starts with trading nine. Nine had to say he wanted to leave because prior to that, you know, they did everything they could to uh, pamper nine, to make nine feel happy, to feel wanted. And there was and, no and, way they're going to trade him. They wouldn't even. They wouldn't even draft the damn backup for the guy. That's yeah, how much he was by Stafford. I'm sure, right? That I want to go try to win a Super Bowl. And I can't do it here. And they allowed it more than them going. Hey, we're going to trade you. Or this is right. Like do I we see. Know I would. Went down? I would think. The more I think about that, the more I start to think that that was kind of a Brad Holmes brainchild play too. In that, Could have been. okay, how do we get this team? How can I get talent for but, this team? But can we? Do we know? We don't know. Well, for we'll sure, never right? know. We'll, ne- we'll, we'll never know the truth. Ask Matt Stafford, and he tells you. Well, yeah, no, sure. that, from the horse's mouth. I right. mean, but I'd have to run into him ether. at Harry's Bar it's again downtown, ether, right? But yeah. yeah, you could be right too. I just, I, I do think that. I do think that they got the extra. They asked for the extra years on the deals that you that you typically get. And he rolled in and said, "We got to, we got to trade nine, and we got to acquire draft capital. That's how we have to build this thing. So, if you want me here, this is what we have but to do." But he had the solution coming in because he knew where he was going to go. Because, and he said, "This is what I would do. We have, we're going to trade Matt Stafford to the Rams, and this is what we're going to ask for. And I think that if we get there's the quarterback because he already knew the quarterback, right? Being a part of it. The the big thing that came to my attention." Right, it's just because you were under somebody's tree and you were at the table when they were drafting. Did you pay attention? Right, Brad Holmes has proven that he paid attention to Les Snead and whoever was in that Rams organization, and he learned, and he's proven it here. But do you know what the saddest thing is? Rufus T. Bone (laughs) on the east side of Detroit, who's uh, (laughs) you know peddling pennies and and selling cigarettes on the corner, knew that. Selling loose cigarettes? Right, selling loose cigarettes. He knew that. Loose the Lions loose. didn't. <laughs> I remember, That's I, the saddest part about it. I remember I was drunk walking around East Lansing going into gas stations asking for Lucy's and nobody knew what I was talking about. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like a Lucy kind of guy. I, was, I literally walked into a oh, gas station. I was like, uh, listen, you know he's like Lucy's. two Lucy's right at the end because he needs one for the... To, for the walk home yeah. to the to the dorm room, and then the other one for the morning, and then they'll figure it out from there exactly. if you got any money left. Uh, Brady Orchard says Stafford wanted out because he didn't want to go through another regime. Okay, and and that could be the case, but my thing could be the case too. 
It's just as plausible. That it could, when, when they but. when they when they chart a path, but that and if it if it is the what I say it is, then that is the true sign of the change. That's the red letter day where you can say things changed, because we're we got to get rid of this guy because he unlocks the ability for us to acquire draft capital, which is the only way you can compete and the only way you can win in today's NFL. That's it. If you want to believe it. God bless you. I'm, and I'm not saying that is the case. Right. I'm saying, but it is just as plausible. No? Am I crazy or what? It is, but Stafford did say he wanted out. But the key to that is Stafford could have said this years ago, and the Fords were like, no, 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 no. You're our guy. We don't want you to leave. And they would have talked him out of it. Yeah. Sheila was like, what are we going to do with this guy? Let's get rid of him. So he probably cool. just said, hey, I've got a quarter billion dollars from this place. Right. Now I'm going to go somewhere love else. you. But I want to go win. Yeah, so there it was, which I guess that could have been the case as well.